Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. Incredible start to the day in Belgrade. Don uh, Hoyt uh, captured the sunrise this morning. Just spectacular thanks to party cloudy skies. And uh, we have Robert uh, Hall sent us this picture. Now I know why I can't buy any Christmas lights in Bozeman. They're all at this house on Babcock Street. All right, here's a big change in our weather pattern. High pressure ridge built up across the western U.S. Deep trough offshore. And look at all this moisture. This is a tropical moisture being funneled right into the Pacific Northwest. And a lot of that's going to be moving up and over the top of Montana. But a little bit of it will continue to clip that northwest corner of the state. The bigger issue for us are these strong winds. A high wind warning out from Madison County through midnight tonight. But this wind advisory in the Livingston area has been extended through noon tomorrow. Both areas could see gusts periodically around 40 to 60 miles per hour. And that's exactly what you see in Livingston right now. Uh, Manata Pass has winds gusting around 30 miles per hour. Whitehall, another wind prone area. You've got winds in there in the 20 to 40 mile per hour range. So I can look at the truth and forecast. We'll just let this play out over the next 48 hours. Very little in the way of wet weather for Montana, but it's all bottled up back out here across the Pacific Northwest. And eventually there's a weak cold front trying to move in by Monday morning, and that's going to trigger a cooling trend uh, that's going to begin in sometime late Monday into Tuesday. But until then, we got some mild temperatures. We're currently in the 20s, 30s, 40s, even some 50s out there right now in the uh, 5 o'clock hour across the state of Montana. So not as cold tonight. Party cloudy skies, dry but windy. Winds still around 10 to 20 in most areas. Stronger gusts in wind prone regions. And I got temperatures staying in the 20s and 30s. Tomorrow, max temperatures are Expected to stay in the mid 40s through the lower 50s for most areas, not all. Party cloudy skies, we'll call this warm to mild, well above average, and quite windy at times in the afternoon. Again, 10 to 20 gusting around 30 miles per hour. Wind prone areas will be very warm tonight, uh, but I got a mixture of teens and 20s and 30s for the rest of us, and locally windy at times. And tomorrow, your max temperatures are expected to come right back up again into the 40s, maybe even some low 50s. And again, that comes with a windy price tag in the afternoon. So another abnormally warm day for Saturday and Sunday and Monday, but starting next week, the weather pattern will change. Lesser winds in a west-northwest flow, and that's going to bring temperatures back down into the 30s for highs for Bozeman and teens for early morning lows. Butte, it looks mostly dry for you as well. Quite windy through the weekend and mild. Low to mid 40s are likely Saturday and Sunday. Colder highs and colder lows, but staying mostly dry throughout the uh, latter half of next week. Dylan, mostly warm and dry and windy this weekend and a cooling trend likely to begin on Tuesday for you as well. Could be some mountain snow showers around Tuesday and West Yellowstone, you have a best chance for a little bit of snow Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe a little Thursday and back again there by Friday of next week. But this weekend looks warm and dry and again, quite windy at times across the entire area. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Nick Petrocioni is in with our sports update and we're traveling to Fargo. And we're sitting down with the 1984 championship team. All that coming up next.